So my name is uh, Carl Schofield. Um, I am a co-partner of QA Venue Solutions. Um, management of QA Venue Solutions is really focused on uh, bringing to life the arena business on the African continent. Is really creating a circular economy around the arena business, and as we're seeing it develop across the globe. Uh, these are things that we want to start introducing to, to Africa as a whole. We have an abundance of natural talent um, and it's our vision and mission to really create the platform for, for um, you know, people on the continent to be able to exercise their, their sporting and entertainment abilities uh, at an international standard. Um, but being able to bring that in a commercially viable uh, way is, is really what we are focused on as a business. Uh, and uh, I, mean, I mean, like I said, from the medium to short term, what kind of events are you looking to, to attract to this place or, you know, put it up to get people excited and happy about the whole concept of the arena? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah look, I, I think from a short term perspective, we obviously faced with the, the issue of COVID um, and, and like you know, we had, we had discussed earlier with regards to how the country has combated uh, COVID um, puts us in a really favorable position where we can still host uh, events to a certain degree. Yes, we're limited on, on capacity, but, um, you know, we still have the opportunity of doing these events, which is really what, what where we see the opportunity. Um, and from a short term perspective, we're focusing on, on the local artists, we're focusing on uh, Pan African artists and how we can. Sorry, Sorry about that. <laughs> cool. Um, so, yeah, I was, I was saying, you know, uh, we're in a fortunate position. Uh, so, our focus is really on local artists, Pan African artists, uh, bringing them into the space engaging with local corporates, pan-African corporates on, on using the space. You know, we're not primarily a sporting uh, venue. There is close to 10 different venues within this arena uh, that we want to, to, to push out into the market so people can use. Hosting from five people right up to, to 10,000 people. Uh, we have that capability. Finally, what do you say about sports tourism in Africa? And what do you think national governments can do? to leverage uh, the, the, the powerful impact of sports for economic, you know, uh, uh, sustenance. Yeah, yeah. Look, I think uh, sports tourism is a is a key driver um, and and is growing rapidly on the continent. You know, we have um, uh, entities like the NBA who have just created uh, the newly. Uh, form BAL, uh, which is which is happening on the continent, and that's a partnership with with uh, um, FIBA, um, and we think that you know is 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 in itself a, a testament to where the industry is going. Um, we also have a natural sort of knack for entertainment, um, and and bringing those two together is is massive for us, and I think that's where we will find our opportunity of creating a sustainable product uh, in the sporting tourism because we have much more to offer uh, than just the sports you know people it's an entertain it's a it's a showpiece uh, for us on the continent and and i think that's where our our um, sort of magic wand will be in in making sure we are sustainable okay thank you so much